we are a, a U.S.-based uh, uranium vanadium company. All of our assets are in the U.S. Uh, we've got large holdings of both uranium vanadium uh, ready to go into production. That sets us a little bit apart from certainly just exploration companies because we've got mine-ready properties. Uh, we opened four of these mines this summer, getting them ready for production. Vanadium prices, if you follow that market, uh, a year and a half ago, vanadium skyrocketed in value. Vanadium is primarily used to uh, alloy steel. Vanadium prices went up to over $20 a pound. Uh, since then, they've fallen back down to 5 to $6 a pound. But because of the demand for vanadium a year, year and a half ago, we started five mines getting ready for production. Of course, the production was dependent on high vanadium prices because uranium hasn't come up. We're still seeing uranium at around $25 a pound, and that's a bit low for anybody, especially in the U.S., to produce. So flipping through the uh, slides a bit, uh, we are uh, a resource holder in the United States. You can see from our charts and in our presentation, we've got about 50 million pounds of uranium and identified about 35 million pounds of vanadium in the existing uh, mines. A little bit on the use of uranium, vanadium, you can look at that. Uh, I don't want to spend much time since I only have 10 minutes. What I really want to get into is the issue of the mines that can start production and where the price of vanadium and uranium might go in the next uh, 12 months. We expect vanadium will probably recover to the eight to $10 range. It probably won't go back to 20 very soon. But uranium prices are set to go up. They're either going to go up because the world is finally uh, realizing that there's not enough production of uranium around the world. But the other thing that could happen in the U.S., this has been going on for about a year and a half, uh, where the U.S. government, uh, the president, orders some kind of control uh, or some kind of purchases of U.S. uranium. And that's what's in the process right now. It's been about a year and a half in the study through the Department of Commerce, uh, through the various agencies of the U.S. government. But we think that there's probably some relief coming uh, very soon. In fact, there was a speaker just this morning that's an advisor to President Trump that basically said he believes that the president is going to do something for the U.S. industry and do it fairly soon. So what happens, that means the companies that are ready for production, their share price should recover or do well in that scenario. And we're one of the probably only four companies that have mines that are ready and permitted to go into production. Four of these mines were, were actually in production in 2009 and 2010 by a Canadian company called Denison. Uh, they shut them down, put them in standby when the uranium price dropped. And the uranium price has not come back, but once the uranium price comes back up, uh, these mines are set to go into production. Now then, one of these slides I can show you, this is a, just a picture of the uranium seams in the mines, uh, high-grade uranium, high-grade vanadium. You can see the yellow is the oxidized uranium, the black is the vanadium in the mines. They, they are in separate seams in the mine, but they're right together. So when you mine the rock, you take both the uranium and vanadium. So we produce two products, basically. That means our costs are lower because we've got both the uranium and vanadium to, to market. This shows you the, the mines that we opened this summer. These are small underground mines in western Colorado. Very efficient to operate, no water in the mines. Uh, they're ready to go into production. We opened all four of them this summer. Uh, we actually stockpiled uh, uh, ore right in the mines. We didn't take it out of the mines. There's nowhere to ship it quite yet. But we're ready to go into production with four of these mines. A uh, couple more pictures of it just shows you the activities in the mines. These mines basically can produce between the four of them at a nominal rate of about a million pounds of uranium a year. They're not huge mines, but again, at a million pounds, even at $50, you got a gross revenue of about $50 million. Uh, our market cap right now, uh, we're about $30 million. There's a cap table on the back. We've got about 30 million shares outstanding. Sell for a little over a dollar a share Canadian. Uh, we've got a very tight uh, st share structure. We've got about $2 million in the bank. Don't need to raise any money. We'll probably do a raise if, in fact, the uranium or the vanadium prices recover. 
we'll need cash to go into production. But short of that, uh, our burn rate's about a million dollars a year, so we've got enough cash to hold us for a couple of years if we don't go into mining. So that's kind of the plan, is just to put everything on hold, hold until the uranium and vanadium prices go up, and then go into production. So that's kind of the plan of the company. Uh, this is a technology that we own. We bought this when we bought an Australian company. This technology reduces the cost of production. Uh, it basically removes a good part of the waste rock right at the mine site so you don't have the additional cost of milling large quantities of, of ore. Uh, this technology is, we're in front of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the U.S. to determine that this is a mining technology, not a milling technology. So once that's determined, we can use this operation at the mines to reduce the cost of production. But we don't need to do it. We could use it to conventional, and we will. If the price goes to $50, we could be in production uh, very soon. Again, this just shows the, the technology uh, separates the mineral from the sand uh, and simply screen off the sand, take the mineral to the next processing step. We're in two states. Our properties are in Colorado and Utah, western Colorado, eastern Utah. Uh, it's a historic production area uh, in the United States and it's ready to go. And there's one, there's an operating mill or a mill that's ready to go and an operating uh, owned by Energy Fuels, a company I founded about 10 years ago. It's ready to go into operation and process the ores out of these mines. This just shows you on the last page of the presentation uh, our capital structure, our shares. Uh, you can get on our website and get all this information, but I appreciate the time to, to speak to you. Thank you.